Hi friends, this is Chef Dave in the San Antonio Botanical Garden Outdoor Teaching Kitchen and tonight we have got our foodie cinema program. Uh, we are screening fried green tomatoes and uh, basically we've got this program where we screen a great movie that's got food scenes in it, we uh, create an inspired menu based on those food scenes, and then we serve it up while they're watching the movie, while our guests are watching the movie. Of course we tie it into the garden, we bring in ingredients from the garden, and then start with a little horticulture talk, then go right into screening. So what I've got here is a standard breading procedure mixture. This is a little bit of flour, an egg wash, and some panko breadcrumbs. And tonight, since we're screening fried green tomatoes, we've got fried green tomatoes on the menu. And so I've got my, my slices already beautifully sliced up. I've got four types of seasoning that we're gonna add to the flour to make it a go. Just a little bit of sea salt, okay? A little bit of Italian seasoning, just some herbs in there. A little bit of paprika. I'm not using black pepper because I don't want you to see a bunch of big black specks and think it's burnt. So we're gonna use a little paprika and a little bit of dill, just a pinch of dill, okay? Got my herbs. Gonna give them a little bit of, and my spices. Give them a bit of a stir in there, okay? This is gonna be my initial seasoning for these fried green tomatoes. So what we do is we take a slice. And these are about a quarter inch thick. A little bit of flour to coat. A little bit of egg wash. And flip that over a few times right into the panko and I just kind of coat it this way just a light coating you don't need a lot for this to make this a go got a beautiful tomato ready to go I'm going to do that a few times so I'll show you again now when you slice these of course them being you know tomatoes being full of water that's going to leach out a bit and that's actually going to help that flour adhere but we want to shake off the excess otherwise the egg won't stick so here I go with the egg panko give it a toss Flip it, toss again, and I've got my beautiful um, tomatoes ready to go. We'll come over here right to the pan. So now I have my pan here with over medium high heat with some veggie oil in there. Once it starts to shimmer, once it starts to shake up a little bit, we just gently lay our tomatoes in. You can hear them sizzling already. They're ready to go. And we're going to do this for about a minute on each side or so. And what I tend to do here is um, I'm looking for that golden brown and delicious color. Once I know I've achieved that, I don't want to overcook that flour. So I'm going to flip them and then I'm going to put them in a warm oven and let them finish the rest of the way. So here I go with my spatula. We're going to take a look to see what's happening. Beautiful color. Do you see that? Now in the movie, I don't want to give too much away, but in the movie they struggle with this process. And so they kind of, it's a little comedic part in there. Uh, timing is everything with these. You see they're beautiful golden brown delicious. I haven't overcooked my green tomatoes. By the way, green tomatoes are a lot more firm than red and you want that because that will hold up to the cooking much better. We're not going to overcook them. We're just going to give them a few minutes in there. Uh, you can see what happens when you overcook. That's just little bits of flour that have, or panko that have made their way in there too long. Um, we just want that golden brown delicious look. So that's about one minute on one side. These are not there yet, not ready to flip yet. Uh, but you can see the difference in just a minute you know, over medium high heat. So I'm just using veggie oil. Um, and then we'll get them right to the oven. And you can see they're about like a quarter of an inch thick, maybe slightly larger than that. And they're firm and tart and beautiful. You can see that lime green, you know, coming through. Uh, it's just perfect. So quintessentially southern. Adding a little bit more. You know, that breading is going to soak up some of that oil. So we just want to make sure that we've got a, a very low even coating across the pan there so then when we, when we do drop down our tomatoes the breading uh, uniformly cooks across the surface of the 